Hello guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Laravel application to generate fake news. Alright, this is the example of the application that I have created. Fake news generation. So, create five fake news topic about what about about dog. Okay, if I click on generate. Okay, let's take a look over here. A dog has been elected mayor for a small town in Maine. Oh. A dog has won Best Actor at the Cannes Film Festival. A dog has been chosen to be the new spoken person for leading pet food company. This is so fun. And let's take a look at COVID. All right, generate. Okay, some scientists are claiming that COVID is a hoax created by the government control the population. Alright, the president has announced that he is using COVID to take over the country and declare a national emergency. Wow, this is so funny. And this is disclaimer. This video is making for entertainment purposes only or for education purpose only. I don't recommend you guys to create fake news and publish it online or offline. So it is illegal. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the tools that I use to create this application. First one is SAM. It's the bundle of uh, PHP and Apache server software. And I need Composer to install Laravel. And I need Git uh, SCM or, or Git Bash for uh, running Git command on window or running Linux command on window. And I need Laravel and I need a Laravel package to connect with OpenAI and I need a OpenAI's API as well to use to generate a fake news or text for me and I need Visual Studio Code for text editor if you don't like Visual Studio Code you can use it uh, whatever you want so for Sam, if you don't use Sam, you can use other as well okay after you have installed all the tools uh, let's create the projects together. Make sure that you uh, start SAM, okay? Start Apache and MySQL, okay? And then you go to uh, Drive uh, C, okay? And then just go to SAM and go to HTT Docs. Let's make a right click and then click on Git Bash here. And then you will create Laravel projects over here. We have to use Composer to install Laravel, all right? Uh, Laravel. Go to Laravel website. I need to install Laravel. I can re uh, remember the command. Okay, we just come here and copy the command. See, just copy this command. It's a uh, installation via composer. Okay, just copy it and then paste it over here. And then we are going to name these uh, projects to be uh, fake new generation. Okay, hit enter. So it's going to take uh, a few minutes to download and install Laravel into your computer. Okay, after the installation is done, you will get uh, the folder over here. Okay, this is our project. Let's go back to command line. Okay, and then I'm, I, I need to access this folder. I can type CD and then fake new generation. Okay, I'm in fake new generation folder right now. And I need to run PSP artisan serve to run PSP uh, to run Laravel. Okay, and then I can access the website from this port and this IP. Okay, you will see the Laravel is up and running right now. Let me stop this server for a while and then type code dot to open Visual Studio Code in this folder. Which, uh, Visual Studio Code pop up over here. And then I go back here. I want to run the server again. PHP artisan serve. Okay, the server is up and running. Try to access the server again. Okay, the server is uh, is up and running right now. Okay, let's take a look at our projects right here. Okay, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do, I need to create controller. So you can click uh, terminal over here. Terminal. I have in integrated a uh, Git Bash to here. Uh, to uh, Visual Studio Code, so I can run command PHP at design uh, make controller. So I will create controller for our project. I will name is AI controller. Okay. 
So let's go to app and HTTP and controllers. You will see AI controller is created over here. Okay, next I will create public function index and I will return view and then uh, the view that I will create is in folder AI and is will be index.blade.php. Okay, let's create this uh, view. So we go to, uh, I will go to resources and fields and then create folder. So the folder going to be AI, it's going to be AI and then uh, the files that we need is uh, index.blade.php. Okay, so so when a request is sent to this function, it will return to this view, okay? And then let's generate HTML tag, okay? I, in the title, I will name is uh, fake no generation. I forgot S, might be AI, might be something like this. Okay, okay, let me put H1. Uh, let me put a uh, header first fake no generation okay let's save this and next uh, I just want to access this page on my browser so what I can do I have to create route so I have a route to access uh, this page so let's create route together so just put route and then get so the uh, the path, the URL, I'm going to be uh, root and AI. And then I have to uh, include uh, this controller to route. So I have to copy this one. So I re can remove this one. So over here, I just put use and paste the controller path. And then copy the controller name, the class name, and paste this over here. And over here, I can put uh, this controller over here that when when someone go to this route uh, direct him to this controller need to tell if this is a class and then uh, direct them to index function okay okay when we access this uh, path we will go to index this one which is this one and we will return the view ai.index for us which is this one okay let's let's take a look oh. ai i type here see i got fake no generation okay let's decide the form okay i create form okay and then over here i put method going to be post Okay, an action. I just leave it empty, and then we have to put CSRF for security purpose, and put uh, put label. Okay, label, and then I'm going to put uh, create five fake news topics about. Okay, this is going to be label. Uh, I can put a uh, break line over here okay and put a uh, text box type text okay name uh, name is topic so I'm going to put placeholder uh, fake no topic And then I'm going to put button over here and put generation. Okay, okay, let's take a look our form as our form. Already refresh this page. Yeah, we get this one. Okay, I think it's look good. Uh, we can put big lie over here. Okay, big lie over here again as well. So how about this? Okay, just put more big line. 
okay okay this this look good okay the next thing that I'm going to do uh, when the user click on on this button I just want is to go to another route so I'm going to put create route over here post right when you click on post AI it's the same route and it's redirect to the same controller AI controller and class I'm going to put a function result and just name this route name uh, result okay you can name it whatever you want but you need to know how to use it and over here action I will call route okay let's call route and result okay okay let's create a function over here because we have created route name result and we need function over here public function result okay so what we are going to do we are going to return uh, return right view return back to the same page AI and then I have to want to return a uh, result need to be like here is the generate the text by AI okay this is the sample text okay and then I, I want to show this result on on the first page on the index page over here so let me type detection if uh, is set uh, result so we are going to print result over here so let's type uh, h3 of for maybe I put output okay and then I might put div okay and then I put a result over here so if it's detect result just print it out okay Okay, let's refresh page it's no nothing when I type something over here test okay generate you will see here is the generated text by AI so the result is print over here because we uh, access to this uh, this method okay okay the next step we have to integrate open AI to our Laravel application okay let me go to Google com and I search for Laravel open AI SDK okay okay you will see this website laravel new.com just click on it and then you will see the the github over here search code and click on it so you use composer to install uh, this package to your Laravel application uh, just copy this command and then just put this over here composer require or han nade ap open ai okay just click enter so on the github it show you how to use the sdk so you can copy this one okay because we have to include uh, the sdk into our controller so we because we want to use it so we include this over here and then next we, I want to use it over here so because our form has passed topic so I have to get topic over here so I put uh, I have to put request over here and request okay so I can access topic from request okay topic okay okay the next step I, I have to do is to uh, connect to open AI so put over here we have to put uh, this constant variable to NV files here and go to over here pieces and then we have to we need a key for open uh, AI API 
so we go to openai.com so we will click on api over here i just want you to sign up and then you will get a fee trial token that will help you to use api for free okay i will continue with my google account and then just click on and personal and then just click on view api key if you activate free trials you will be able to use uh, this key this is secret key you just copy it if you don't have it you need to create new secret key so i will copy this key and put it over here okay save now we should be able to connect with uh, open ai the next step I will take a look at the document again here okay just copy this code this is how to use it so it show you I don't want to go over it uh, compete right but I will change this to, to be like uh, I will change this to be open AI output okay so the engine that is used is Davisi, but I don't like this engine. Uh, when you look to OpenAI and if you go to document, there are multiple engine. In this case, I'm going to use Instruct Siri engine. So and I, I am going to copy this engine and put it over here. Okay, we are going to use Davisi Instruct uh, Beta version three. For the prompt, I will declare uh, the variable for the prompt. So the prompt is the information that we want to instruct uh, the AI to generate text for us. So I put prompt over here. I can put empty for now. And then I put prompt over here. Okay. What we want the AI to do, we need to specify inside the prompt. So I want is to create five fake news topics about about what about a topic about whatever we pass from the form here the topic and we can uh, concat with topic okay right now we get a prompt that's ready to generate text okay the output is going to be a JSON object so let's uh, dump it out okay over here okay let's try this for first time okay we back to our AI application and I'm going to refresh this fake new generation okay let me change this one to be uh, fake news okay yes fast again okay uh, I'm going to put doc and I am going to click on generation okay this is the JSON object that's sent from uh, open API okay this is the text that we need you see beat labado blah blah, blah 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 but we need to access this text okay go to here and then I'm going to declare variable uh, should be output first of all I need to convert this uh, JSON objects to uh, uh, array so I put JSON decode and then I put uh, I put this one this variable to over here and then I put true okay and for the output I need only text right you will see over here there is many many uh, index many key so I need only text so I need have variable to store the text output maybe text equal output right? equal this this one and then uh, I want this one choice I want to access this one choice and it should be the first array is this one you see array first array and put zero and then I need a uh, text okay 
okay we should uh, be able to store only the tags over here so for the result I need to pass uh, okay I need to pass I need to pass this tags out there okay so let me pass this out there okay and let's take a look again go back and click on generate see you will get lead one Labrador blah 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 uh, it's not look really good so I have to adjust the the prompt I need to tell it to uh, to make new line so I put new line okay over here so let's try again doc generate okay it's look cool now dog are smarter than cat dog can predict weather change which is fake <laughs> okay and over here html you see it's just one line i need it to uh, break line so i need to specify uh, styles over here css styles white space and pre lie okay save and then refresh C cancel and then put dog again okay dog can now be trained to perform basic household tasks like laundry and dishwashing all right guys this is all about this video if you like this video feel free to click like and subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to encourage me to do the next creative video. Alright, thank you so much for watching my video.